What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day nine of the Resist program. We have an upper body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP warm up and then we'll get into our first circuit here. We got five push ups, 10 plank shoulder taps and five arm reach throughs each leg. We're gonna set three minutes on the clock and we're gonna cycle through that as many times as we can just to get nice and loose. So let me just walk you through what it is. Regular push ups or push ups on your knees. They're gonna hit five reps. Then we're gonna hit 10 plank shoulder taps. You're gonna stay at the top of that push up position. Hands underneath your shoulders, feet a little wider. Touch opposite shoulder, pause for a second. You can modify this to the knees if you need to too. Then the final thing is you come on all fours and we're gonna reach as far through as you can and rotate up towards the ceiling. Five reps each arm. Once you complete that cycle, you're gonna go right back to the beginning and we're gonna go for three minutes straight to get that upper body loose. Let's do it, team. 10 second countdown. Let's roll. Up bench. We're going in five. Five push ups. Three, one, and work. Five push ups. Ten plank shoulder pads. And then five reach throughs each side. Reach, rotate. I'm cycle through one time and I'm going right back to the top. Another five push ups. Plank shoulder taps. Just feel this warm up in the chest, shoulders. Tricep, back. For a minute and a half left, halfway through. Take your time here, guys. We don't want to gas each other. You don't want to gas yourself out. Twenty seconds, team. Ten seconds. Keep working till the buzzer. Two, one, and rest, team. All right, first circuit up. We got two movements, just like last week and the rest of this week. We're going with that ascending format. So we got three sets. The first set, you're gonna have 50 seconds to complete eight reps of both of these movements. The second set, you're gonna have 60 seconds to complete 10 reps. And the third set, you're gonna have a minute 15 to complete 12 reps. So in theory, we're starting off with the heaviest weight and then dropping as we go. Track all of your weights and reps in the Train Heroic app. The first move up, if you have a decline bench, we're gonna get set up. If you don't have a decline, you can go flat or you can go incline. I'll leave that option up to you. We're gonna go deep. Big stretch at the bottom. 
drive up and we're gonna res resist the lockout at the top. So all the way down, big stretch, come up, no lockout. Eight reps. Your only rest is the remainder of the 50 seconds. Once you complete your eight reps and the 50 seconds is up, we're gonna go to the next 50 second interval and we're gonna do a rear delt row. So we're gonna take two dumbbells on the front of our thighs, bend over at the hips and we're trying to rotate our hands back so that our, our, we end up in this position near our ears. Let me just pause our timer here. So think about you're squeezing up, almost trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together and trying to create that double bicep pose, but from the bent over position. So what I like to think about is put my thumbs in my ears and the back of my hands towards the ceiling. So I'm pulling up and rotating my hands back and then nice and slow down. I'm gonna do 60s on the decline press and I'm gonna go 30s on my first set of rear delt rows. This one you can't go super heavy on, so 30 is gonna be tough, but it's only eight reps. And I'll drop down in the second circuit where we're doing 10 reps. Let's do it team, let's get ready to roll. We're going in 10 seconds. Decline bench, if you don't have a bench at all, you can do floor presses. Just resist that lockout. Come as deep as you can, chest towards the ceiling, drive up and stop just short of lockout. 10 seconds team, get ready. Eight reps, make every rep count, feel it. Three, one, and work. Drive, no lockout, slow on the way down. Feel that stretch, drive. Drop them. We're going into the rear delt rows in 12 seconds. Eight reps of these. I'm going 30s. In three, one, and work. Bend over, palms facing forward. Squeeze up, nice and slow down. Come on, team. I think I can get 10 out of both of those again. I'm gonna stay same weight. We got a 60 second interval coming up in 20. We're going 10 reps on the decline bench. I'm gonna stay with 60s. This is again the first week, it's the second week, but it's the first time we're hitting these movements. In week four, we're gonna hit them again, and you wanna build. 10 reps in three, and work. No lockout, team. Test up. I'm feeling strong. I'm able to go for 12 on that. I should have started heavier. I'll know now for week four. This is kind of our, the first two weeks are kind of our tester weeks. And we build for the next four. In four, rear delt rows for 10. And work. Ten reps. Try to control that descent. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. We got 25 seconds, team. Final sets here, you got a minute and 15 for each. You can take a little time off the top. You shouldn't take a minute and 15 to complete these reps. 
especially with the no lockout, kind of goes a little quicker through your reps. Five seconds, 12 reps, decline, dumbbell bench press. Let's work. Come on. That was good. I'm going 25 on the rear delt rows. Huh. Put these 60s away. Really try to control the descent on these rear delt rows for this 12 rep set. So squeeze, you should go down almost one and a half the speed that you went up. So you're trying to control that weight down. Three, one, let's work. I'm going 25s here. We got 12 reps. Take your time, short breaks are okay. If you need to stand up and take a break for a second. Taking a short break, finish my last four. Woo. Finish your 12 reps team. Rest the remainder of the minute 15. It's a little extra rest for you before we get into the second circuit here. We are cutting it off in seven, five, three, one, and rest team. All right, seconds, one circuit down. We got, I don't know, three or four more, three or four more to go. I don't remember. So, same exact format here. 50 second interval, 60 and minute 15. We're going eight, 10, 12 again. This time we're doing a shoulder press instead of a chest press and we're gonna do an adducting variation. So the dumbbells are gonna start in front of you like this. With your elbows tucked in, good posture. You're gonna let those hands come apart like you're opening a good door. Press up, come back down, and then close the door. This gets a little bit more upper back. It loads up those front deltoids because you're basically holding a uh, shoulder raised position. So we're gonna be here, palms are together, drive those hands apart, drive overhead, and then close the door. So from the side, it's like this, core tight, out, up, down, close that door. Eight reps on the first set. I'm gonna try to go with 35s. Then we got rear delt rows on an inclined bench. If you don't have a bench, you can do this standing up. We're gonna have our palms facing each other. We're trying to squeeze out wide in a T formation, bent over. You wanna bend over as much as you can at the hips, keep that low back flat, come up nice and slow down. Because we're only doing eight reps, I may try to go with a 25 on this. It's gonna to be tough though. I'm gonna demo with something light though. Ideally, you're gonna do it on the incline bench seal style. So I'm standing, I'm straddling the bench, chin is over the top, palms are together. Squeeze up, nice and slow down. Think about feeling those shoulder blades squeeze back and together. This hits the rear deltoids, which is the back of your shoulders. It's gonna hit your uh, upper back, your traps, your rhomboids. We are going at eight seconds team, eight reps, adducting presses. Let's go, 50 seconds to do it. Three, one, and work, come on. Spread them, press, bring them together.
Hammer. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. oh, that was heavy as shit. I am not, I'm dropping a 30 for the next set of 10. Rear delt fly for eight, come on. 25 is gonna be a rock. See how I do. Three, one, eight reps, team. Take your time here. Try not to use too much momentum. Control that descent. Eight reps, all right. I'm dropping a 30s and 20s on that. That's gonna get rough. Come on. Shoulders should be getting toasty already though. Eight seconds team, we got our 60 second interval for 10 reps, let's go. Three, one, let's work team. Take a short break. We got 30 seconds left. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, 15 seconds. I'm dropping 25 on the next side of that. That was rough. 20s on these rear delt, uh, re reverse flies. In three, come on team. And work. 10 reps. Huh. 30 seconds, team. Woo! Set at 12, minute 15. I'm going to uh, 25s on these adducting presses. I'm gonna drop the 15s on the rear delt flies. It's an isolation movement, you can't go super heavy. My shoulders are cooked. Three, and let's work. 20, 12 reps in a minute and 15. Break it up however you need to. Oh. On six, we got the full minute 15. Still got 45 seconds left. I'm at 10. Oh, I got two to go. Oh, three, one. All right, team, reverse flies for 12, let's work. Plenty of time here, I'm going 15. Really trying to squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. Activate those rear delts.
Balls on the dance floor. <sighs> Come on. Twelve reps. Rest the remainder of the minute fifteen once you're done. That's a little extra rest for you. We're getting to this third circuit here. Oh. Cut it in five, three, two, one. Rest, team. Two minutes on the clock. All right. Same format. We got paused push-ups. You can do these regular, you can do these on your knees, you can do these on an incline surface if you struggle with regular push-ups. You can do these on a deficit with weight on your back or a band if you wanna make it harder. I may try to do it with a plate on my back, but you can use band around your back, whatever you want. You can elevate your feet if you wanna make it harder. Pick whatever modification suits you. So we're gonna go down and pause for two seconds at the bottom. So no matter what variation you're doing it, down, chest pauses off the ground, one, two. Drive up, lock out hard. Down nice and slow, one, two, drive. Same format, eight reps the first 50 seconds, 10 in a minute, 12 in a minute and 15. Then you're gonna hop over and we're gonna do an overhead lateral raise. So shoulders are gonna be toasty. Might have to go 15, I might start with 15s on the first set of eight. Palms are in front of me facing together. I'm gonna come all the way up overhead, palms facing forward, come out with my palms facing forward and slowly rotate them back facing each other. For eight reps, try not to use your low back, try not to use momentum, you don't wanna do this big swing of the hips, you don't wanna be arching your back when you're trying to get to the top. If you're struggling to get overhead, just go out to the side and then nice and slow down. If it's, if it's a struggle or low back pain is causing you not to be able to go to the bottom. All right, we're going in 25 seconds. I'm gonna get a plate to throw on my back for these pause push-ups. If you're in a gym, you might have these. We're going for eight reps, team. I'm going with a 25 pound plate. I'm just gonna rest it on my back. In eight. Four, two, one, and work. Eight pause reps, come on. Nice and slow. One, two, drop. Seconds team, we got overhead laterals. Huh. I'm gonna go with 15s for eight. See how I do. I may have to drop the tens. And work. Eight good reps overhead. We're out just to the side. Control that descent. Five seconds left. Come on. Oh yeah. All right. Eight seconds, team. We got push-ups again. Woo! That's why push-ups are fine at this point of the workout. Or a struggle. Ten reps in 60 seconds. I'm taking a couple seconds off the top. Two second pause at the bottom. I'm gonna go with a plate for as long as I can. Try to get it balanced on there. Feet wide. 10 reps. Five seconds, team. I got three more. <sighs> Woo. 
Seven seconds, overhead laterals. Woo. Two, I'm going to tens. Ten good reps, team. Now to the side. Nice and slow down. Thirty seconds, come on. Ten reps. All right, I'm sticking with tens. We got a minute, we got ten seconds, team. Final set of push ups. I'm gonna try to do it with the plate for as long as I can. Three, one, and work. 12 reps. Come on. Woo. Pause. Five seconds left. Come on. We got four more. Thirty seconds. Break it up. In eight, I'm taking a few seconds off the top here. Let my shoulders recover a bit. Twelve, a minute fifteen to complete twelve reps. <coughs> Woo! Oh, can't feel my shoulders. One minute left, team. Twelve reps. Come on. Thirty seconds left. Come on, team. Fifteen. I got two to go. Three, one, and rest, team. Woo! Two minutes on the clock. All right, we're through the increasing interval sets. We got two circuits left. We got a six minute AMRAP circuit and a five minute AMRAP circuit. One of them is arms, one of them is core. In our first AMRAP circuit of arms for six minutes, we're gonna do as many rounds as possible. That's what AMRAP stands for. So, we're doing 10 concentration curls on the right arm, 10 concentration curls on the left arm, and then 10 overhead tricep extensions. And you're basically gonna cycle through that as many times as you can in that six minute block taking short breaks as needed. So, concentration curl, 10 reps. So a moderate weight. I'm gonna set up on the edge of my bench. I'm gonna put my right tricep, the back of my arm, inside of my thigh. I don't want the elbow on top of the thigh, and then we just kinda rotate and flail around. We go here, palm up, curl up. Nice and slow down. Full extension of that bicep, squeeze. 10 reps on the right arm. Switch, elbow at the back, inside the leg. 10 on the left arm. Then, you're gonna hop up, probably use a heavier weight, do an overhead tricep extension. So you're gonna grab the top of the dumbbell, 
Let it come down below your back. Get a deep stretch at those elbows and then drive up and lock out. 10 reps, try to keep your core tight. You can also do this seated if you prefer. So you go here, drive up, lock out. Just feel those triceps work. I'm gonna go 25 to start on the curls. And I'm gonna try 45 on the overhead tricep extension. You can always drop your weight here as you go. It's at a fast pace, we don't have a ton of recovery. We wanna take short breaks enough to get through the good reps of good quality. We're going in five, team, come on. Curls, three, one, and work. Concentration curls in that right arm, 10 reps. Nice and slow down. Feel that bicep work. Come on. Ten and then switch arms. Come on, team. Overhead triceps, once you're done, I'm going 45 for 10 reps. Abs tight, nice and low, drop. Going right back to the concentration curls. Come on, team. Let's get it, squeeze. Come on. Come on. Biceps are getting a nice little pump here. Come on team, we got two and a half left. Woo, we're a little over halfway through. Taking a short break, let those arms rest a tiny bit. Right back into the curls. Come on.
Come on. Uh. Uh. Woo. I may start dropping that 25 to 20, I see. Actually, no, we got a minute 15 left. I'm gonna get what I can. Deep breath, team. Come on. I'm on my third round through. Finish it up. Big stretch on those triceps. Try to get it close to the body, abs tight. Come on, team. Come on. We're cutting it in 10 seconds, team. I might just even out the arms, though. I can't have 10 reps on one arm and not the other. Rest, team, if you're done. I'm gonna finish the 10 on my left arm, so I'm even. Come on. All right, team. Recover, we got two minutes on the clock, and we're into our final circuit of the day, a little core work. We got a five minute AMRAP, so same format. Excuse me, as many rounds as possible. We are doing 20 flutter kicks. You can do this on the floor or on a bench. You're gonna sit on the edge of a bench or on the floor, use your hands behind you. And you're gonna keep your legs straight and you're doing 20 total. So it's 10 each leg, nice and slow. Try to get that core contracting. We wanna work for the hip flexors all the way up in those side obliques and abs. Then you're gonna grab one heavy dumbbell, feet a little wider. Try to hold the dumbbell off your side and we're gonna do some side oblique bends. So I'm gonna grab a 60, but I'm gonna demo something lighter to get myself a break, feet wide. I'm gonna get a big stretch over on the side with the dumbbell and then crunch to that left side. We're gonna do 10 with the weight in the right hand, squeezing those left obliques. And you're kind of just moving laterally. So I'm trying to let my spine move to the side and then to the other side. Same concept here, big stretch, drive. It's actually actually a little cue to try to feel it more in your core than in your back. I like to put the dumbbell a little bit on the back of my leg, like so, and then kind of crunch forward a little bit. So stretch, crunch forward. So if you see me from the side, this is directly to the side, this is forward a little bit, tiny bit, and you'll feel it all down the side of the obliques there. Any questions? Let me pause it. We got three seconds, team. Give, me, give everyone a second to set up. All right, five minutes only on the clock. Same format, cycle through this as many times as you can in five minutes. Go at your own pace. If your low back starts hurting, modify, go to lighter weight. Let's do it, team. We're going in three, 20 flutter kicks. 10 side bends each side. And work, legs straight. One, two, three, four. Big flutters. Twenty reps. Grab a heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna start with fifty, actually. Dumbbell on the back of my leg a little bit. Drive and squeeze. Big stretch. Come on, team. Switch sides. After your 10, try. That's actually a good weight. I'm gonna stay with that 50. Back to your flutter kicks. One, two, through one round. Try to make these flutter kicks big if you're doing it on a bench. You get more range. Oh. 
Three minutes in the clock, team. Two minutes down, three to go. Two and a half left. Oh. 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 Short breaks are okay. Two minutes left on the clock, team. Come on. Let's finish strong here. A minute 20 team, finish strong, keep working even if it's at a little slower pace. seconds. Come on team. Finish strong. We got 20 seconds. Some work. Thank you guys for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that upper body workout. We'll be back tomorrow with a lower body workout. Just a reminder, there's no live workout tomorrow as there was no live workout today. This is a little pre-recorded to fit the program. Hope you guys enjoy it tomorrow. Champions train on Fridays. Get after it team. I will see you on Monday live, but I will see you tomorrow in that lower body workout. Thank you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.